let's see how we can create new excel files from multiple sheets or i would say from each sheet by using vba code here in this file i have multiple sheets one sheet is named as master sheet and all other sheets are saved by month name and i have data on every sheet that is saved by month name so on master sheet i have one command button once i click on this command button then there is vva code that will be executed and save all sheets one by one as new excel file in a specific folder that folder i have on my desktop let me show you that folder so on my desktop i have folder named all files when i open this folder right now i don't have any file in this folder so i'll go to excel file and let me click on this command button so what is happening it is exporting each sheet that is saved by or named by month name and these files are being saved in all files folder so we are getting message task completed let me press okay and let's check that folder if i open this folder now we have all sheets saved as new files with the sheet name if i open one of these files let me open this april file then we can see that data is also saved perfectly so let's see what is the vba code that i have used here and let me explain that vba code i'll go to developer tab click on design mode and then i'll double click on this command button so that i can view the entire code now i have declared one variable dim a as integer and then another variable of worksheet type dim ws as worksheet and then wb as workbook and then i want to count all the sheets so for that i have used variable a that is of integer type code is a equal to this workbook dot worksheets dot count so it will count all the sheets and then i want to run a for loop for i equal to 1 to a that means it will run for all the sheets that we have in this workbook and then next i and within this for loop i want to skip i don't want to export master sheet so i have started with if condition if this workbook dot worksheet in brackets i dot name is not equal to so this is the sign of not equal to and then in inverted commas master sheet then then what should happen sheet sorry set wb equal to workbooks dot add that means we are avoiding or skipping master sheet if sheet name is not equal to master sheet then we want to add one new workbook and then this workbook dot worksheets we want to copy the active sheet or month sheet and equal to wb dot worksheets and one why this one because whenever we add any new workbook then by default it has one excel sheet so i am using here one that means before first worksheet in newly added workbook and then once that sheet is copied or sheet from current file is copied into new workbook then i am saving the new workbook wb dot save as space and then i am giving the path where i want to save that excel file so this is the path and then slash and then name of folder and then within inverted commas i have to cover this path and then sign of and or ampersand then slash again ampersand and then active sheet dot name ampersand i want to save as xlsx that is the extension for excel file 
and this will save each sheet as new workbook so where i have taken this path so if i go to folder then we can easily copy the path of that folder including the folder name another way is we can right click on folder and we can go to properties and also we can take the path but here we need to add folder name so let me go to vba editor window again now after this wb dot close space save changes equal to true that means all the data which is transferred along with sheet should be saved with that workbook and if and this is how it will copy each sheet or export each sheet in new workbook once task is done then i want to activate current file this workbook dot activate and then master sheet dot activate and on that sheet a1 that means cells 1 comma 1 this workbook dot worksheets within brackets master sheet dot cells 1 comma 1 that means row number 1 and column number is also 1 a1 dot select and then i am generating message msg box within brackets within inverted commas task completed we can give any message that we want here so this is how we can automate task of transferring or exporting sheets and saving those sheets as new workbook or new files here i am avoiding this uh, master sheet if you want you can delete this line as well as and if then it will save all the sheets as new files so i have this tutorial is helpful you can use this code or modify as per your requirement if you have any question around this topic you can write into comments or you can send me email also thanks for watching you can subscribe to my channel to get notifications of new vva tutorials